You know, Stuart, before we go, there's new reporting from the Texas Tribune that found that Herschel Walker has been claiming a tax exemption in Texas that he can only qualify for if he is a primary resident of Texas. And Walker took that exemption this year, even after launching his Senate bid. Uh, MSNBC reached out for a comment but has received no response. My question to you, Stuart, is do you think at this point of the race— that that development will have any impact, whether legally or politically, on Herschel Walker's candidacy? Well, you know, in this kind of runoffs, uh, like at the end of a campaign, you want to win every day. Um, and the fact that it comes out that you don't really live in the state that you're running for wouldn't be counted as a plus. I mean, you just have to imagine, what was it like in the room where they said, you know, we should get Herschel Walker to run for the Senate from Georgia? But, I mean, it, it's just an, a ridiculous idea. I mean, no one in the U.S. Senate, if he did get elected, would ever say, you know, I'm going to ask Herschel what he thinks about this issue. And Georgia's had tremendous senators in the past, and they have two great senators now. And I think what, that ad by Warnock, I thought it was terrific. Um, he's had very good advertising. He's running a very good campaign. Um, so I, I think this is one of the things where the better candidate who's running the better campaign is going to win this thing.